Thank you. So now for the introduction of our commencement speaker, Mr. Tyron Poole. It is my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker. You will find a detailed bio of our speaker in the program. However, I will provide a few highlights. Mr. Tyrone Poole is a formal, former professional athlete and current author, speaker, inventor, entrepreneur, and fitness evangelist. His greatest passion is the Tyrone Poole 38 Foundation and its three pillars, education, fitness, and humanitarianism. Mr. Poole is a graduate of Fort Valley State University, where he played college football at Fort Valley State University. His athletic ability caught the attention of the highest ranks of professional football. He was drafted in the first round of the National Football League draft, and he went on to play 14 years in the NFL, 12 of those years as a starter, and won two Super Bowls. 38 and, 29, and 39, with the New England Patriots under legendary coach Bill Belichick. As the saying goes, to whom much is given, much is required. Tyrone lives out of this message in countless ways by hosting ultimate success life skills seminars for underserved youth, to teaming with the Disability Channel to offer virtual walk fundraisers throughout the globe. Regardless of the charitable endeavors, Tyrone ensures that education and fitness are incorporated into his charitable outreach. From funding academic scholarships to underwriting fees for his football camps, Tyrone's heart for youth is boundless. And also, something that's not in the bio, turn your channels to American Ninja Warriors on June 5th and you will see Mr. Tyrone Poole compete. So now, please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, Mr. Tyrone Poole. I wanna thank God, my Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for being here. I can't believe it. I'm here, Elizabeth City State University. So let's give your school, your university, your institution, and my new family a round of applause. I want to thank Chancellor Dixon, the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, students, family members, friends, for giving me this opportunity. When I first received this call uh, from my good friend, give him a special thank you, Jarrell Drew, he called me, he said, Tyrone, I want you to be our 2019 commencement speaker. I said, yes! <laughs> he actually had me at hello. <laughs> but seriously, it's a great honor to be here, to be able to impart, encourage, empower my brothers and sisters, my fellow, fellow HBCU brothers and sisters, because I went to Fort Valley State myself. I know what it's like. And that's why today, after you leave here today, like a wise man once told me, the information that I'm going to give you today it's going to be so plain and simple that you will have to hire somebody to help you misunderstand what I'm telling you. <laughs> so give yourself, give the graduates a round of applause. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Flight ECSU 2019. I am your captain for this moment. My name is Tyrone Poole, and I want to welcome you to about a 15 to 20 minute flight to the city called Ultimate Success in Your Life. 
As we taxi to takeoff point, here are a few reminders. There will always be a fight before the fight. The definition of life, the condition that human beings through growth, reproduction, functional activities, and continual change preceding death. Ultimate success requires sustainability. Notice, I did not say success. I said ultimate success requires sustainability. So as you pursue your dreams, understand that you have to keep fighting. And the final reminder, the only person that can stop you graduates, can stop anybody in this building, is the person that you look at every day in the mirror. Flight ECSU is ready for takeoff. So sit back, relax, be upright, have your mind and your heart open and receptive. Now, I want everybody to close your eyes. I want you to envision this story. I call this story a dream that came true for mama. It's in the evening. The sun just went down. Picture yourself walking into your house, walking into your mother's house, your father's house. You walk in through the front door. You go through the living room, making your way through the bedroom of your house to the kitchen. You go to the refrigerator. Open up the refrigerator, you grab, you grab a, the jug of water, you pour it in a glass. You close the refrigerator as you walk towards the kitchen to sit down. And you glance from the side of your eye, your mother, with her back against the wall, squatted down. Her arms wrapped around her knees. And she's crying. You put the cup down. You walk over to your mother. You say, mother, what's wrong? And she looks up at you. And she says, son, God doesn't want us to live like this. Without knowing what to do or what to say, you just blurt out, mama, don't worry about it. I got this. Now open your eyes. That was my dream. That was my life. That was the launching pad that projected me to my city called Ultimate Sess, called the National Football League, the NFL. So today, as you receive your degrees, you are preparing yourself for the next level in life. And because I want you to have ultimate success in life, I'm going to share with you seven key words that will help you get to your city of ultimate success in your life. <laughs> the formula, the launching pad, the dream your mama has for you, the dream you have for yourself, for your family. <laughs> Bound for the city called ultimate success in life. Now that we are at our flying altitude, here are the seven keys that I want you to understand that if you do them correctly, you will find yourself in your city called ultimate success in life. The first key word for ultimate success, sacrifice. <laughs> what are you willing to sacrifice for ultimate success? If you're not willing to sacrifice self, if you're not really willing to sacrifice someone, 
something, you won't land in your city called ultimate success. For me, when I was in college, my sacrifices, I didn't go to very many college parties. I didn't. During the summer, I sacrificed going home. Now, a lot of people say, man, you don't love your parents. I love my parents. But I sacrificed going home so that I could stay at school so I can work on my football skills. <laughs> I bet if you ask my mom and my dad now, are you glad Tyrone stayed away? Oh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> but what are you willing to sacrifice? Because there will be sacrifice for ultimate success. Understand, we all hear differently. We all see differently. We all speak differently. But one thing is consistent. We all have the ability to understand. Without understanding, you may misinterpret what is common practice in your area of success that you are pursuing. Turbulence. Turbulence is common when it goes to flying. If you ever fall on a plane, you've heard and you understand the word turbulence. But if you don't understand that that comes with flying, when you get up in the plane and you experience turbulence, <laughs> you might panic and even ask the pilot or the stewardess for a parachute and try to jump out. <laughs> but if you understand that turbulence comes with flying, you just ride it out. Confrontation. This is where I say, it will make you or break you. This is the hump day. They say Wednesday is the hump day during the week. Well, confrontation is the hump day in this formula for ultimate success that I'm giving to you. This is what I call the fork in the road. You will either continue or it will stop you. Confrontation. You will ask yourself, is it really worth it? Do I really want ultimate success that bad? Confrontation is a hostile or argumentative meeting or situation between opposing parties. Can you handle people talking about you? Can you handle people disagreeing with you? Can you handle Confrontation, commitment, are you committed? Are you committed to fighting for what you want? Have you ever committed yourself? Graduates, have you ever committed yourself? I say yes, yes you have. You may say, Tyrone, what you talking about? Yes, I have, you don't know me. No, I don't. But by you graduating, you getting your degree today, you have stayed committed. So commitment is in you. Again, I ask the question, are you committed? Are you committed to fighting for what you want every day, every hour, every minute, every second until you land in your city called ultimate success in life. As we prepare for our landing in the city of ultimate success, the next key word is efficient. I love this word, efficient. Efficient, when I think of it, the first thing that steps out to me because I ran track is a track athlete, a sprinter, the arm action, the knee drive, the correct body lean. Also, he can be efficient so he can run fast. Aerodynamics of an airplane. How the wings are designed so that the air gives the plane lift. Efficient. Efficient means achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense. Where can you be more efficient in your life. Stable. Now, the stable that I'm talking about, I'm not talking about physical balance. I'm not talking about standing on one leg. 
I'm not talking about holding uh, a, a board. The stability that I'm talking about is emotional and physical, emotional and mental stability. Stability means not likely to give away, to overturn, firmly fixed. Can you stay stable during difficult situations? During your fight for ultimate success in life, can you stay stable mentally and emotionally? The last key word in this formula for the city called ultimate success in life, spirit. Full of energy, enthusiasm, determination. This is what you feel when you have done the previous six that I've just described to you. So welcome to the city called Ultimate Success in Life, where the local time is now for you to live your best life. As you exit today, don't forget your spirit, because it is your spirit that will help you to remain stable. Your stability will help you be more efficient. Your efficiency will help you stay committed, because your commitment will help you overcome confrontation because you understand the sacrifice that you are making for your city called ultimate success in life. In the beginning, I said, there is a fight before the fight for success, right? So, after hearing the formula for ultimate success, are you ready for the fight for ultimate success in your life? So when I ask you, are you ready for the fight? And it's everybody, not just the graduates, everybody. When I ask you, are you ready for the fight? I want everybody who can breathe in here to say, I am ready for the fight. Are you ready for the fight? Come on now, come on. Are you ready for the fight? Are you ready for the fight? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Tyrone Poole. Thank you so much. On behalf of, of Elizabeth City State University, we would like to present you with this token of our appreciation for your being here today and your inspirational words to our class of 2019. Thank you so much. Thank you.